Hello fellow Whovians and welcome on in to episode 4 of the Holy Whovian History Podcast. I'm your host Arachnerd and today I am going to be talking you through the production history and the story behind the John Pertwee era of Doctor Who. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Sherwin's first choice to replace Troughton was actor Ron Moody, star of the musical Oliver, but when he turned the part down, comic actor John Pertwee, another candidate from Sherwin's shortlist, was cast instead. Now Sherwin had hoped that Pertwee would bring much of his comic acting skill to the part, but he was also keen to establish himself as a serious dramatic actor as well as a comedian. Although some lighter touches were visible throughout Pertwee's era, he essentially played it very straight and not at all as shown as a vision. Pertwee's Doctor was more action oriented than his pre- pre- predecessors, sorry, and the producers allowed Pertwee to indulge his love of riding various vehicles doing, during his tenure, including motorcycles, hovercraft, the so-called Umaville, and of course, the Doctor's vintage yellow road to Bessie. Sherwin stayed only to oversee the first story of the seventh season. Spearhead of some space was the first Doctor Who story to be made in colour, and due to industrial action in the Electronic Studios, the only example of the original series to be made entirely on film. Interesting fact for that, um, episodes that were recorded on film can actually be remastered in a much better quality than those that were not. So that's why we can get Spearhead from Space in, in Blu-ray, and that Blu-ray looks so much better than the collection Blu-rays. I'd say they look bad, but anyway. Uh, thereafter, uh, Sherwin moved on to work on the series Paul Temple, and was replaced by director Barry Letts after another regular director on the show, Douglas Canfield, had turned down the job. The seventh season, at 25 episodes, was shorter than any that came before it and established a pattern of Doctor Who seasons being between 20 and 28 five min- 25 minute episodes in length, one that would last until the middle of the 1980s. However, although the new format of the Doctor Who Stuck on Earth had proved popular enough to save the programme from cancellation, neither Let nor his script editor Terrence Fix were particularly keen on the idea, and from the 8th season onwards sought reasons for the Doctor to be able to travel in space and time again eventually having the Time Lords grant him full freedom after the 1973 10th anniversary story, The Three Doctors, a series which also featured guest appearances from Troughton and Hartnell, the latter in a restricted role due to his poor health. Another innovation of theirs from the 8th season onwards was the introduction of the character of The Master as a new nemesis for the Doctor, conceived as sort of a Professor Moriarty to the Doctor Sherlock Holmes. Brilliantly played by Roger Delgado, he became a highly popular character, though over the following two seasons it was felt by both the public and the production office became a little overused. Delgado and the production team eventually agreed that it should be written out during the 11th season by killing the character off, with some ambiguity to, as to whether or not he had died to save the Doctor. However, before this story could be written, Roger Delgado was tragically killed in a car accident in Turkey, and his death had a profound impact on Pertwee, with actress Kathy Man- Katie Manning also having departed from her role as Joe- companion Joe Grant after three seasons, and Lettons and Dix both planning to move on, Pertwee felt that his Doctor Who family was breaking up, and he decided to leave after the 11th season in 1974. According to Elizabeth Sladen in an interview on the DVD release of Invasion of the Dinosaurs, Pertwee asked for a substantially increased fee for another year on the series, but he was turned down and subsequently resigned from the role. So, on the 8th of June 1974, at the end of his fifth season playing the Doctor, John Pertwee made his final regular appearance on the show in the serial Planet of the Spiders, but the Doctor was forced to regenerate after suffering fatal radiation poisoning. Pertwee would play the third Doctor again in the 1983 special The Five Doctors, as well as a stage show in 1989, and the Children in Need special in 1993, but we choose to forget that. John Pertwee died in May 1996, aged 76. So, yeah, there we go. That is the history of the third Doctor era, of the John Pertwee era. This has kind of been the shortest episode episode so far um so yeah 
Again, in later episodes, I am going to be looking back through this era, along with the other eras, and I'm going to be, you know, saying my favourite stories, my least favourite stories, stories I haven't seen but want to see, um, stuff like that. John Pertwee is obviously regarded as, you know, one of the best, most iconic classic doctors. A lot of people rank him, like, second. Some people rank him first, obviously, you know. It varies, but John Pertwee was the first doctor to have his episodes broadcasted in colour, which obviously was a huge, huge boost for the series, being able to see all these sets. The TARDIS console, all of that in colour, must have been an absolutely incredible experience for viewers in the 1970s. Um, the intro was quite different to the first and second Doctor's uh, intro because it was in colour. Theme was basically the same, although we did get the Delaware theme. Which is basically like one of the most Marmite things about Doctor Who. You either love the Delaware theme or you absolutely hate the Delaware theme. I'm sort of in the middle. I think it's it's kooky. It sort of fits the vibe of Doctor Who. Maybe not Pertweet's Doctor, but I say the Delaware theme kind of works for McCoy, maybe. I'm not sure. Or, or Colin Baker. Anyway, I digress. Um, there we go. That is another episode of the Holy Whovian History Podcast over and done with um tune in next time and we will be going through of course one of the most iconic periods of classic doctor who and that is the fourth doctor era the tom baker years thank you very much for listening if you are still listening i've been your host arachnode this has been the holy Hoovian history podcast and hopefully i will see you all next time for another exhilarating installment Thank you very much. And all